May the Lord bless us all with wisdom and peace, heart dwellers. Well, I'm still kind of reeling from my correction yesterday and still trying to get it all in my heart and understand and and forgive myself. And I've been having a hard time today just knowing that I had let the Lord down. He has really been grieving my heart. So the first thing he said to me when he came to me during prayer was, your struggles are almost over, Claire. Don't let me down now. I don't know what to say, Lord, except I'm sick at heart. This next month is very, very key and important for those you are leading. They need to be appraised of the situation. The devils suspect this will be their last opportunity to drag souls down to hell. So much more than ordinary vigilance is necessary to preserve your souls. They are going to come after you from all directions. Temptations you never even thought you were vulnerable to. My advice to you all is to lay low, 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 lower than ever before in your lives. Don't have any proud flags flying they can attach themselves to, and they'll go right by you. They're looking to stir up pride in your hearts any way they can do it. Refuse to buy into that. Simply dodge the bullets. Your vigilance will save your soul and perhaps even those around you. When the devils target you, they also target those around you. They rejoice when they can use you to bring others down as well. Don't allow yourselves to be drawn off into vain reasonings, empty arguments, critical spirits. Oh, they have set landmines before you, my people. Your only hope is to lay low in humility, confessing my blood for protection and refusing, and I do mean flat out refusing, to be engaged in useless arguments that will cause your soul to fall into unrest and confusion. Little do they know or expect that I will strengthen you in humility, your greatest protection. As you remain vigilant and obedient, they will have no place to manifest. This is a critical time for all of you. As you move through this month, be expecting grenades to fly in your face. When they do, catch them before they detonate and steal your peace. And at that point, I took a, a break and I got a little bit busy during my break time and I think I was avoiding the Lord. I wasn't sure what it was, but when I came back to prayer, he said, you're nesting. Nesting, that's what women do before they're about to give birth. <laughs> it's also what you do before bad weather, a big storm comes, it's just kind of nesting and making yourself feel secure. So the Lord began, you're nesting. Please be at peace. You are aware of what's going on. That's enough. To focus on yourself would not do anyone any good. Better you should just look forward to opportunities to prove your love for me. Better for you to move on now, Claire. How do I do that, Lord, when my heart is so heavy? Refocus on me, beloved. I'm still your beloved. Still, always, and forever. Did I not tell you that I chose you for this job because you were such a poor soul? Did I not tell you that I looked and could find no one else to match you in pity? It is always the ones who think there's something when they are nothing that are truly to be pitied. Reality is a rough landing. Better that you figured that out now than at the very end of your life. I look to you, Claire, because I knew your weaknesses so very well, and yet your heart is for me, so life is a struggle for you. I knew your struggles are the same as others, and helping you gain the victory would help them as well. You're perfect for this job, especially if you remain teachable and steal a glance at yourself now and again in my mirror. There's no need to nest. 
Lord, I'm so afraid of failing you. And I began to cry at that point. I know my weakness, guys. My weaknesses. They're bad. He replied, I know. I know. But you have me on your side. You have me in my graces. And as long as you take hold of that rope of grace and never let it go, you will make it. It has to become second nature to you, my love. Every day you are presented with opportunities to go with grace or go with the flesh. Little things mean a lot to me. Your love for me is the cornerstone. All the things you give up for me, and especially charity, are the building blocks. You are given opportunities almost every moment of your life. The more frequently you choose me, the stronger you will get. It's just that simple. The blocks of granite are my grace, self-denial, charity, humility. The blocks of adobe are your flesh, your desires, appetites, preferences, things that ultimately mean nothing and do not hold up under pressure. Building with those causes massive instability. Always choose the granite, my love. It will stand in eternity. The others will crumble back into the earth from which they were formed. Go now, my love, knowing you are forgiven and restored. Cleave to me and show me how much you care. <laughs>